Hey, this is Chris Trapani, The Mortgage Pro, with a unique opportunity for you. I know you are bombarded with tons of offers for advertising. As a business owner, you get things in the mail. You get Facebook and Instagram and all these different types of advertising opportunities. But there's one problem that all of those things do not address. They are temporary marketing. What do I mean by temporary marketing? Hey, if you buy pay-per-click on Facebook, they click, eh, not interested, buy, it's gone. What happens if you buy mailers? It goes in the mail and you receive a bunch of junk mail, I get this junk mail, and you'd probably do the same thing and you throw it in the trash. Well, what we ask is this, what is better? Is it better to have permanent marketing or temporary marketing? Well, see, temporary marketing is thrown away. Do you realize that 94% of business cards are thrown away in less than a week? But permanent marketing obviously is gonna give you a distinct advantage. Would you like to generate more business? That's a silly question. If you're a business owner, you wanna generate more business. Now, what is the difference between you and the big superstars in your industry? You do transaction by transaction, but the superstars in industry, they're marketers. How much would you pay for each prospect that you marketed to? See, what I'm talking about here is permanent marketing. I have a tool, I have a trick, and I'm ready to share it with you to help you make more money. What we've done is written a book that teaches a first time home buyer everything he needs to know to buy a house. And you may be saying to yourself, well, how does that apply to me? Well, do you realize that first time home buyers, they need certain services throughout the transaction so that they can buy the home. And in the next three years, they spend much more money than an existing homeowner. So number one, you wanna be in the right target with the right prospects for the right product. That's one. But two, permanent marketing, a book. So what do people do with a book? First of all, people don't throw books away. Do you throw books away? I don't. Now, if it's valuable, I'm gonna read it, I'm gonna internalize it, I'm gonna use the information, and then when I'm done buying a home, I'm gonna pass it off to my cousin Charlie, or my brother-in-law, or a coworker, and it never gets thrown away. So for years, this advertising just keeps going and going and generating business for you. Home buyers spend three times as much money in the first two years of home ownership on home improvements, maintenance, furniture, and appliances as existing homeowners do. Home buyers, and especially first time home buyers, are really anxious to take advantage of special services, wise investments, and keep them in good financial shape. Home buyers often move in with a list of must-dos. Just think of when you bought your home, you had a whole bunch of things you needed to get done. And first-time home buyers especially have not developed any loyalty towards businesses related to owning a home or what's gonna come in the next couple of years. They simply don't have a list of preferred services yet. Hey, a lot of people have on their checklist, gotta have a pool, but there aren't that many houses with pools. So they settle for second best with the idea that I am going to build a pool. Who are they gonna call? Should be you.